there on the Parkway East at least. Yeah, it's almost like a uh, thin mist that we're seeing this morning. In fact, I think it tricked the Pittsburgh airport sensors into thinking they were seeing rain this morning because mm. we didn't see any rain on yeah. radar, but they were showing at the icon at least was showing rainfall uh, happening this morning. Let's take you over and we'll show you what it looks like outside once again. Sarah was showing a lot of fa really fantastic shots out there of the fog, at least in downtown Pittsburgh, not seeing much of any fog. You can see the rain still being detected. Out at the Pittsburgh Airport this hour, it's 62 degrees. The dew point is at 62. That means our humidity, relative humidity, is at 100%. Basically, what we're saying is that the, that the atmosphere at the surface, at least, is saturated at this point. Barometer not too low. It's at 30 and 10 hundredths of an inch this morning. Most of the rain is going to be right around the State College area, just north of there as well. But you can see a couple of isolated showers have developed here in western Pennsylvania including some isolated showers, mostly into Westmoreland, Indiana County. We're looking at Armstrong County as well. We're seeing most of this rain. A couple of isolated showers even in Pittsburgh this morning. Here's what we we're talking about. Our visibility in Pittsburgh, at least now, is at a half mile. But just the last hour, really over the last couple of minutes, it was down to about a quarter of a mile with visibilities. Newcastle 4, Butler at 3. So we are seeing some fairly patchy fog, but in some areas it is fairly low. So generally in mornings like this, we just ask you, hey, if you can leave just a little bit early. Also make sure that you are prepared for some rapidly changing conditions, especially with that patchy fog that we know is going to be outside. 62 in Pittsburgh, Denora 64 degrees, Latrobe at 65 and Butler coming at 62 this hour for those temperatures. We're not going to see temperatures moving very much today. In fact, we're only expecting a high of 69 degrees, so we'll likely not even hit the 70 degree mark today for those highs should be back in the 70s though by Friday. Overall, notice how the rain moves this morning. This is at 8 o'clock that we're looking at. You'll notice it moves from the east to the west. That's because we have a front that's going to move in from the northeast, diving down to the southwest. That generally is what we call a backdoor front because it comes in kind of opposite of how it normally does. And sometimes you see the rainfall moving sort of opposite of what it normally does as well. Highs today, once again, probably not hitting the 70 degree mark. We'll fall into the mid to upper 50s tomorrow as they're starting off the day. And I think we hit the low 70s tomorrow for your expected highs. We do have some adjustments with your seven day outlook. The main part is going to be on Sunday into Monday. Better chance now for some rain and storms on Sunday. And that means that we've cooled down temperatures on Sunday and we've dropped temperatures even more on Monday as the cold front is set to arrive. If you're heading out for Friday night football tomorrow night, it's looking fantastic. Temperatures should be into the upper 60s for most of the night. Don't forget to head over to KDK.com. You can easily click on uh, the game of the week and choose what you would like us to cover. You can see a sampling of those games right there, including Indiana and South Fayette. If that's what you want to see. Make sure you go over to KDK.com and click on that. Here's your forecast. You can see temperatures warming up briefly for the weekend and then a big drop as we're heading into next work week.